The following Let's Play has been rated for mature audiences only. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, I was a really old looking teenager. That sounds like a movie teen a movie title. And we are going to become a thief because I don't feel like making a Zoe a thief and I decide that doing it as a guy would be interesting considering this is the end of the let's play. Possibly this very episode. I don't know. Depends on how much thievering there is to do. Actually first, I'm gonna go ahead and save. No, never mind. I was about to say maybe I could show off what it's like to try stealing from somebody before we're experienced at it. But like I said, I don't want to actually get sent to jail, even if I am stuck playing as a guy for this video. What the? What are you doing here? Haha, <laughs> I'll bet you remember our little encounter and you've decided to take my advice. Am I right? Hahaha, <laughs> I knew you'd come around eventually. They always do. Um, you gave me a key, remember? I always wondered what happened to you after I left. That same night that you gave me the key, I... I know, you got adopted. Yay, good for you. Meanwhile, I was stuck at Warren Hall with Lance and Marla perfect pants. I swear to God, I hate that. Did you know she found about... Uh, found about a job I did and tried to blackmail me? To top it all off, she stole something from me. Something really important, and then she got a doubt that before I could choke it out of her. Let's get back at her. Alright. I'm totally up for that. After, um, you know, she won't, uh, throw me to jail if I try stealing from her, so I'll go ahead and save and try stealing from her right now and see how well that goes after I save. Because let's be honest, she's a thief, she's wanted, she's not going to report somebody stole from her because that would get herself in jail. But just in case, it was probably a good idea to save. Steal! You attempt to steal from Tempest. You stole the basic bandit, basic bandit's glove from Tempest? What the? Hmm, well, I seem to have let my guard down a bit. How careless of me. But don't ever try that again with me, or I will kill you. Got it? Anyway, that was step one that you just took, by the way. Okay. Let's do that again. What did I tell you? Don't make me cut your throat. Okay, so nothing happens if I keep doing this. Just in case, I'm going to load from that save I just created. By the way, in case you're wondering, I asked. As, uh, uh, O'Brien to has told me that by doing this quest as Victor, I'm not missing out on any special endings or anything by not doing this as Zoe. You want to what? Join the Thieves Guild? Haha. <laughs> You couldn't steal a glance if you were on fire. <laughs> As if. Interesting. So maybe I was supposed to do this. Alright, that was step one. Now let's ask for a quest. Hmm, well you did pass the first test. Perhaps it's time to send you on a real mission. You probably didn't know this, but this granary used to supply this town with grain in the same way that a water tower supplies a town with water. It's not used for that anymore, of course, but the channels underground remain, and can be used to break into almost any house in town. I used to play in them when I was a kid, and I've learned them all now. It's dark in there, and you'll have to crawl with the spiders, but it's the only way to get into most places. The things we need to steal are the supreme quest tools that can be found here. Why waste time on inferior booty, right? Well, I know where six of them are, and you can get them. So, you up to up for some skullduggery? Hmm, maybe so. 
<laughs> cool. Like I said, I know where six Supreme Quest tools are. I've been watching this town since I was five and listening. I'm not interested in the tools. All I want is the money. If that's okay with you, then we're good to go. You go in, get the quest tools and the money, and then come back here. Don't do anything stupid like try to leave with the money. You'll be wearing a bandit's costume, so if you try to leave, they'll catch you for sure. If they don't, I will. Speaking of that, here, your outfit is in the chest to my left. I'll unlock it for you. When you have it on, do not try and go into town or you will be caught with my clothes on. Okay, now get changed. Interesting. You changed into the thief clothes. I'll leave you to guess what I just referenced. There now, that's better. No one will recognize you now, unless you get caught. Also, he looks even less like a 15 year old now. So don't get caught. Now we can move on to the thievery. Give me a sec and I'll get my list of all the Supreme Quest tools in town and who has them. When I find it, you'll need to decide where you want to go. I'll give you directions and you'll be off. We'll start with the easy ones. Now hold on. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. So what do you want to steal? Let's steal the trade scale from Hugo. Interesting. Hugo is one of the locked houses. You have triggered a security guard. What? How did that happen? And all I got is a stick. This is looking unfortunate. This is looking fortunate. We'll go ahead and get a physical hit in. I knew it the moment I started saying it. Well, at least that was only magic stealing. Magic damage, which is interesting that that's an option. Two. We're going to use our skill. Did I have a weapon that I just forgot to equip or something? Steal heat and heart jab? Well, I can only do heart jab. I will have to check my skills before I go further. Was it because I got too close to the door or something that this thing attacked me? Alright. Last one. There we go. I wonder if I get any int points from this. Nope, just a bit of money. Let's see here, Victor. Yep, he's got different stats of stuff. Including a thief dagger, which why isn't that equipped? Seriously. And as for skills, we got Steel Heat, which costs 7 MP, which obviously we don't have. And we never will have. 75 damage cause a stop. And then Heart, heart Jab. Which is that. Alright. You have stolen the Supreme Trade Scale and found a stash of 500 gold. This job is now complete. You re-enter the grain chute and return to the granary. Interesting. Heh, <laughs> that's my little hoodlum. You've somehow managed to pull it off, and nobody seems to suspect a thing. Heh <laughs> heh, suckers. 
Well, enjoy that, whatever that is, but the money is mine, like we agreed. I'll be taking Van now. You lose the gold from the robbery. What's next? Well, we already got the trade skill, so we have no reason to go back there. Let's go get the Saint Medal from Joseph. And this is Joseph's house. It's another locked house. We will avoid the door. Triggered an automatic guard. I was probably standing right on top of it. At least now I can use some physical attacks without having to worry about using up HP to... stuff. I better not die. Oh! That steals HP! Awesome! I think I'm in good, I'm in good shape. I think I'm in trouble. Don't do that again. He did that again. Well, gosh dang it. I just lost all the progress I made this episode. Wait, that's a different death song. Am I about to be thrown in jail? Nope, that's a game over. I don't know why it had to be a special thing. Couldn't it have just been a regular, you lose all your HP game over thing? Alright, so I had to go through all that all over again. I'll have to remember to save in between each thing. I also have to remember to equip stuff. Which makes me wonder, do I have this stuff equipped? Yeah. Why is he equipped, but the other but the other victor not all right here we are back in Joseph's house and apparently I forgot I can't go back outside and save in between each of these little excursions because if I do according to Tempest anyway I will get caught and thrown in jail so yeah I'm just gonna to have to do hope for the best would it be nice if I had some healing items However, at the very least, I want a death dagger from that first um, machine security guard thing. What is what does this do? Let's see here. We got starting off with a thief dagger, which is that drains HP, and then we got this. I like the damage that it has, 666, and it has a chance of causing instant death. Well, I don't have to worry about causing instant death considering this thing's about to instantly die just from taking too much damage. Let's see here. Can I sneak around? No. I don't think it's possible to get around these security guards. Whatever. Now that I have this dagger, these should go much easier. And here I was worried I'd have to do this as Zoe. I like the design of that dagger. That looks painful. And you're dead. Too bad these things don't get end points. I could use the uh, level up off of them. So that explains what all these special treasure chests I could never open are. Oh, there's another guard here. And we found the burglar alarm. Oh. What? Great, so we have to fight Joseph now? This is bad, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Okay. What the heck? Alright, I'm going to Joseph's house and see if there's like some... In the editor, I'm going to see if there's like a specific way... 
Okay, we're not being sent to the title screen. Nut bunnies. So we got caught. Okay, so there's, so there's a breakable wall here in this jail cell. How far in jail are we? Obviously, we're not going to be able to get out of here. I don't know how far into the jail we are, but whatever. We can break out. And that's the important thing. Do they know who I am? Well, at least my health was restored. Let's see, where's the next one? There it is. And then... I would look carefully. Where are we now? This is interesting. I did not expect all this to be back here. This is an event, but it can't do anything. Well, I have the option to talk to the guard, but I'm slightly worried about doing that, plus I want to find out if there's any significance towards this table that I found. Not to mention, am I missing a breakable wall somewhere? Is there another one in here? Uh, if I could, like, quit and save real quick, I'd just... Check in the map editor. Not to mention, find out what the heck that is. Now, I might have to quit anyway. Just to get out of being dead, or not dead, being out of trouble all right I don't know what that table is for and I don't find any more breakable walls so I guess I'm talking to the guard you have three days left so am I going to actually have to wait three days in order to get out of here If I could find another break of a wall, it looks like there's one here. Yeah. Alright. Uh huh. Well, there's not a way to get out of here that I can tell. There are more brickable walls somewhere. I think I see one. Maybe. No. Alright, I know what to look for no now. There's like a gap in the floor. Alright, well I'm not actually going to wait those three days because it's like It would take forever, like a half hour or so to wait out those three days, so yeah, not going to happen. Instead, I'm going to go to the layout editor. Let's see here. First, we're going to check this. No, that's the, uh, that's the wrong jail. I'm looking for a dungeon. Which is this. Were there any other breakable walls? Okay, here's the entrance. Which, where did I start out? I was over here. There we go. That's the path I found. 
That's where I started. That's where it says, like, you have three days left. Then I would come over here. There's this. Secret jail event. Let's find out what this is about. Modify secret jail event. Too bad there wasn't a save point in there. Would have been helpful. But it has something to do with Tempest. Also, does not appear to be any more breakable walls, so... That was it. Oh, wait. There's a treasure chest in here. Oh, that's that one treasure chest, okay. Alright, next thing I want to find out, Joseph's house. Are these events at all avoidable? Alright, so it is possible to get around these. Now let's uh, see, what monster was it? Battles, Thief Party, okay. Alright, so they're set to give the burglar alarm sometimes, along with these other things. So, there's a chance that I would get burglar if I did this. <sighs> so the best bet is just to find a way around these burglar things. Alright. Gonna go back and continue with uh, this quest then. And hopefully I can find a way to get around these things. And just, you know, not have to deal with them. Because apparently, even though I could find a death dagger that makes it one hit kill, just killing them gets me caught sometimes. Good to know. Alright. I'll meet you back at Joseph's house. I wish I could leave before having to continue on to the next house to ransack. I would like to be able to, you know, save. Oh well.